Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. For those of us in the Northeast, it's a bit of a hot one. For my buddy Rusty Glovebox in Texas, he's probably he's probably got a blanket over him. It's 80s considered cool out there. Um just a quick shout out. A uh, young guy um, recently joined the Horde as a subscriber. His name is Redneck Riding 101. If you guys could go out and take a look at him, look at a couple of his videos, say hello. Tell him Harvey Spooner from the Horde sent him, sent you. That'd be a good thing. What are we up to today? This is the Easy Go. You guys remember this thing? And one has to love it. This is its maiden voyage with uh, electric start, but let's give it a shot. You gotta love it when you can just reach down and fire the engine up. Pop it into first gear. Try not to crash. Take her for a ride. She rides like a truck. takes two hands to drive this thing. We're in second gear. I got the choke part of part way on. Kind of a maiden voyage, so excuse excuse me if it doesn't go perfectly. And once again, this is nice. Okay, jokes off. Thank you. 
Holy shit! Uh, excuse my French. Wow. I think I could do donuts with this thing. Oh yeah, donuts. soft spot down here. So. Oh man. You guys gotta get one of these. This is too much fun. breaks loose in the back, then it tends not to steer so good. This is tight to here, so we're going to try not to hit the tree that I keep hitting.
Okay guys, one more donut and we'll go put this thing away before we break it. Like that or what? She stalled. Hopefully it's in neutral. This thing uh, doesn't have a lockout. So if I start it in gear, she's just gonna start. Anyway, let me show you what I did um, with this thing. You can see this is the 200SX motor, TRX 200SX. You can see I made a battery box out of an old computer case. It's all tie wrapped in so the battery isn't going anywhere. These guys are tie wrapped up, right? Nothing's going to short or get into trouble. See, I got an air cleaner on it. This is the spare wire. This should actually go to the body for ground. Brakes. Um, chain is staying tight, which is good. Boy, she's tough on gas. You guys could see the shifter and the linkage. key switch, the back of the key switch, the front of the key switch. Yeah, it's a nice, I gotta tell you, it's a nice toy. Everybody's gotta get themselves one. How's that for donuts though? Not bad, eh? Yeah, the back tires, I think are just like the fronts there. I mean, they're not baldy bean, but they're hard. They're uh, not conforming to the ground at all. So, and Quite honestly, there's not a lot of weight back there. Most of my weight when I'm sitting on this thing, most of the weight is really up front on that tire. You can tell also, by the way, it, it kind of does donuts better in one direction than the other, the other direction. Well, I guess it's also easier to do donuts in one direction such that centrifugally I'm being thrown outward on my left side because I, I have um, the bar that I can kind of lean against to keep from falling off the golf cart, right? I can kind of lean up against this, which keeps me from falling out. Um, so, this project, is it done? No, there's still a million things to do. But from a running, driving, self-starting point of view, it's really come along nicely. Folks, I really do recommend that you build one of these things. It is just a pisser. Um, typically around me, you could get an electric golf cart. God, by the time you get tires on it, you're going to have all the 300 bucks, maybe 350 invested. Sometimes you see them for, you know, a hundred or, um, but typically the less money you pay for them, the really rough shape they're in. The cheapest I've really seen them is, is around a hundred. Um, if they hold air, they're more like a couple hundred. If they're fixable, they start working their way three, four, or five. So, but a golf cart, let's say you can score one at a scrapyard or something for 150 bucks. Typically, you can score an engine. I have a TRX 200 SX engine on there. You could typically come up with, you know, a China engine or something else. You can dig up an engine. I don't know. 
call it another few hundred bucks, three, four. So if you really want to cob one of these together, you're probably going to part with at least $500. But you know what? It's worth the $500. It is just a joy to ride. It's fun. I recommend that everyone have one of these. Um, and if you put a roll cage on it and seat belts and uh, protection to keep from smashing your head into the roll cage and a few other things like that, it might not be a bad idea. Uh, don't try this at home. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember, keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.